Hey guys, welcome back to another mod review on this channel. Today I'm going to be showing you the brand new Naturalist mod for Minecraft version 1.18.2 Forge and Fabric. This mod has just been released a few days ago and it is truly stunning, so I just had to make a video about it right away. The mod adds a bunch of different animals to the game, and what I really love about this mod is that these animals aren't just some copies of the same mob using a different model, but that they interact with each other realistically and that they behave as they do in real life. Each animal has a different behavior or personality, there is a working food chain and sleep cycle. I personally also think that the animations of the animals are truly amazing. So let's take a closer look at the different mobs. The mod currently adds 8 different mobs to the game. Bears, birds, butterflies, caterpillars, deers, fireflies, snails and snakes. All of these mobs spawn as of now only in the forested and grassy biomes. Bears are predators which hunt deers. Sometimes you can see them just lying around, sleeping. Bears harvest and eat sweet berries, honey and hunt salmon. They also act similar to polar bears and will generally leave you alone if you don't get too close to their cubs or attack them. You can breed bears by giving them salmon. Deers are passive creatures which will walk and run around your world eating grass. They avoid bears and will try to flee from them. You can breed them by giving them apples. If you kill them, they will drop some venison you can cook, or antlers, which can be brewed into a potion, which will give you a speed effect and weakness. Snakes are predators of the lower forest. They consume the smaller animals, which are not hunted by bears, like snails, chickens and silverfish. What is really amazing is that if snakes have eaten one or a few animals, they will be full and stop eating further animals for some time. They can also climb up walls, which actually looks really cool. There are normal snakes, rattlesnakes and coral snakes, which are poisonous. Snakes spawn with random items from their loot table, which they can drop, similar to foxes. Birds fly around the treetops of the forests and chirp. There are blue jays, cardinals, canaries and robins. You can befriend them by offering them seeds. After you befriended them, they will follow you, but you can make them sit down by right clicking like you do with a dog, so they stay at their current position. Next there are butterflies. These butterflies just fly around in the air and look for flowers and crops to pollinate. You can get two butterflies to breed by giving them flowers. This way you can create caterpillars. Caterpillars will crawl around looking for nearby trees to create a chrysalis on. Later they will hatch and become butterflies. It will take a bit longer than a cocoa bean to grow for them to hatch. If you want to, you can obtain the chrysalis if you break the block with shears or silk touch. Then you are able to for example transfer it to another place. Fireflies are mobs which glow in the night and can be found in biomes such as forests, plains and in swamps. During the day, they will hide in grass. They cannot be bred, but if you kill them, they sometimes drop glow goop, which can be turned into a potion of glowing. At last, there are snails, which just aimlessly crawl around the forest. If you jump on them, they will die. This covers about all the information about the mod. I personally really love this mod because it places quality above quantity and all included mobs are well thought out, have unique functions, animations and interact with one another. I honestly would be completely fine if this would just become part of vanilla Minecraft because it fits just so well. So although there are some other great animal mods out there, I really recommend you give this one a try. Thanks for watching, if you don't want to miss any further reviews, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you.